I've got to get out of here. Oh. Tammy? Oh, thank God you've called. What's going on? No, I completely missed the show. They did that for Shane? Oh my gosh, they must really care about him. So what's going on with you? I want to hear the gossip. Tammy, are you kidding? That's a big step. Are you... Are you sure that you're ready for that? Why don't you come over to my house and maybe I can help you figure something out? No, 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 no. I don't mind at all. I mean, I've been cooped up in here all day. You'd be helping me out, actually. you back on? No. Um, well, no, nah, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Oh. Lizzie? Hey, Nana. Um, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> but Tammy might stop by later. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. And how, how was your session with Dr. Langham? It was okay. I'm just so s sick of being stuck in this house 24-7. I know, sweetheart. But you understand why it has to be, right? Look, I'm, I'm going to be going out in a little while. But your granddad is downstairs if you need anything, OK? Where are you going? To Olivia's baby shower? Yeah. And is mom going? Mm-hmm. Is that bothering you? Nana, look, I love you so much, and you know that. But please don't play shrink, OK? I have had enough therapy for one day. <laughs> okay, sweetheart. I'll poke my head in before I go, okay? Huh. You are invited to a baby shower for Olivia. Isn't that sweet? See, that's the thing. Dr. Langham is all for me going back out in the real world. It's my parents. They're paranoid. Really? You know, and it's not like I want to go out clubbing or get wasted or anything. I mean, all I want to do is go to the mall for a couple hours or, or even to the Beacon just for a change of scenery, you know? So, um, by the way, how did you get over here anyway? Did you take your mom's car? No. One of the hotel cars dropped me off. Oh, so how are you going to get back home? When I'm ready to go, I'll call them and they'll come pick me up. Tammy? I'm sorry I couldn't help overhearing, but you don't have to go to all that trouble, sweetie. Alan's driver will be glad to drop you off when you're ready. Are you sure, Mrs. Rain? Yes, yeah, no problem at all. But don't leave too soon, because I know Lizzie appreciates having the company. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. I know you are angling to get a ride with me. But it's good that your grandmother walked in, because that's a really bad idea. Yeah, well, you're not the one who's stuck in her house prisoner. Hey, believe me, I know what it's like, OK? You try living at the Beacon with only grown-ups and little brothers around. Yeah, well, at least you have a boyfriend. For now. What do you mean, for now? Did you guys get in a fight or something? Oh, it's about what you said on the phone earlier. Let's just say that Joey is ready for certain things that I'm not ready for. He's really ready. So he wants you to go all the way with him, but you don't want to? Well, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I think I do. And then I get scared. And then I think maybe it's just nerves and everyone has them their first time. Well, is he pushing you? Not in a bad way. He just wants to. And sometimes I think that if I don't say yes pretty soon, he'll lose interest. Well, don't do it. OK, Tammy, don't sleep with him until you're absolutely sure that that's what you want to do. Because, I mean, I know you think that this is the way you can keep him forever, but it's the exact opposite. It'll just push him away faster. How is that? Because right now, you're a challenge to him. 
But, like, once he has you, it, the thrill's over, and he's just gonna go find someone else. Joey's not like that. Oh, come on, Tammy. All guys are like that. All right? I mean, there's only one thing I can think of you can keep a guy, and that's not even 100%, but it's close. What's that? Okay, go ahead and sleep with him. But when you do, make sure you get pregnant. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I'm serious. Uh, it worked for Olivia, didn't it? Her and my dad are completely wrong for each other, but you know what? Now that they're having a kid together, she's got him hooked. He'll never, ever leave her. She'll be never. right down, okay? Okay, well, Gerard's pulling the car around. You know, I thought you were actually gonna stay for a while. I I'd like to, I just suddenly remembered all this stuff I have to do at home. It's what I said, wasn't it? About the whole thing that you should get pregnant if you sleep with him. I mean, it was just a joke, Tammy. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Just hang in there, Lizzie. I'm sure everything will be fine soon. You're so sweet. Bye. Bye. Joey, yeah, you just missed her, actually. Um, yeah, she just went down to the kitchen to get us some snacks. Are you doing anything right now? Well, why don't you come over? Yes, I'm sure. Tammy was actually going to ask you herself, but, um, why don't you just surprise her? You do have a car, right? Well, great. <laughs> 